Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The engine development has been one of the most daunting tasks before Indian defense research organizations such as GTRE to master because we have ventured late in this area and still has not invested much in terms of time, money to build the required expertise, skills and this is where India is now looking for assistance from foreign engine makers such as Safran and Rolls-Royce to develop a flight worthy engine that can power the future fighter jets of India such as AMCA, TEDBF and Tejas MK2. The discussion picked up the pace with the visit of French Defence Minister Florence Parley in December last year. While India is all set to partner with France for its futuristic engine program, in today's video, we will try to explore the existing and futuristic engine development program of France and how GTRE and Safran are going to work together in the development of futuristic engine that will power upcoming Indian fighters. To begin with, we will try to understand the M88Cs of engine. The Snakema M88 is a French afterburning turbofan engine developed by Safran aircraft engines. It has three variants M882, M883 and M884. The M882 engines power the Dassault Rafale fighter jet. It produces 50 kN of dry thrust and 75 kN with afterburner. The M883 engine produced 93 kN of thrust with afterburner. It is developed for single engine light combat aircraft. The M884 produces 105 kN of thrust with afterburner. It is developed for medium weight single engine fighter jet. France is also working on the new generation fighter NGF which is 6th generation fighter developed by France, Germany and Spain in the framework of future combat air system. The aim is to design a fighter aircraft that will replace Rafale and Eurofighter Typhoon by 2035. The SALT and Airbus are in charge of producing the architecture and design of the aircraft and the engine which will be developed jointly by Safran and MTU Aero Engines of Germany. At the start of 2019, Safran and MTU Aero Engines signed an industrial partnership to design and produce an engine for the NGF. MTU Aero Engines, Safran Aircraft Engines and ITP Aero has signed an agreement on cooperation to provide jointly developed, produced and supported engine to power NGF. The division of roles between two engine manufacturers was based on the principle of the best athlete. The aim is that each one works in their field of expertise. Safran is therefore in charge of developing the hot parts and engine integration and the MTU Aero Engines is responsible for the cold parts and the MRO that is maintenance, repair and overhaul services. The 6th generation fighter jet will have much higher thrust requirement. Higher thrust means higher temperature and will be experienced inside the engine core and fan blades. The temperature can reach as high as 1827 degrees Celsius at the turbine jet inlet which is 250 degree more than what is experienced by M88 engines. The metal alloys present in the M88 engines cannot sustain such high temperature. To achieve this, French General Directorate of Armaments DGA and the French National Aerospace Research Centre Onera and Safran are working on accelerating the development of new metal alloys and multi-layer system for high temperature application on turbine blades and discs. On 10th January, the French DGA announced that a prototype engine from the Turin program had successfully passed a ground test using power plant adapted from M88 engines. The new engine is envisioned as one that would have more thrust than Rafales and Eurofighter Typhoons so that the new aircraft would effectively replace these two long-term combat aircraft. The technique used during the test is called thermocolor which requires heat sensitive paint 
applied to the blades of the engine's high pressure turbine it measures the temperature by changing the color this kind of trial is very rare and took 5 years for the conditions to be ready for this experiment the result of this test is being analyzed post which the project will move on towards the endurance test and would last several months safran has developed a high thrust class engine M884 that can produce thrust up to 105 kN. It is also working on next generation engine as we have seen that will power the sixth generation fighters. The commonality between both this engine is the core which is derivative of M88 engine powering Rafale fighter jets but the thrust requirement is going to be much higher for MK. Back in December 2021, the Defence Minister Shiraj Nath Singh had informed that France has agreed to make engine in India under a strategic partnership model. He further added that such an engine is currently not being made in France. The engine will have next generation FADEC and low infrared signature. Safran and GTRE will be working on developing a new core derived from existing M88 core with modifications to achieve higher thrust requirement of more than 110 kN. The new core would undergo thousands of hours of bench running followed by in-flight testing. The test bed for the new core is most likely going to be the Salt Rafale. Once the work starts on the engine development, we can expect the core of engine to be ready in next 3 to 4 years. A flight worthy engine can be expected in 6 to 7 years. The new engine will power MK MK2 which will see the first flight around 2030 to 31 and will enter production by 2035. It has also been reported that the defense ministry has asked to conclude the negotiation with France to co-develop a new fighter jet engine by this month for which we all are eagerly waiting. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.